Hi there, Tony Sycamore here, IG's Market Analyst for Australia. With diplomatic efforts and bad weather preventing a further escalation in Middle Eastern geopolitical tensions over the weekend, Monday morning has seen a partial unwind of the safe haven flows put on ahead of the weekend. There remains a great deal of uncertainty in markets, as there has been all year, with recent events in the Middle East adding another layer of complexity. However, there are also some positives that may help the market climb the wall of worry into year end if events in the Middle East remain contained, including a more cautious Fed, an expectation that earnings season will likely show signs of stabilisation, the seasonals and technicals have turned positive, and inflation is expected to continue to fall. We recommend staying open minded and flexible in this type of environment. With that in mind, let's take a look at the charts of key US equity markets, starting with the S&P 500. The S&P 500 has been in an uptrend really since the October 34.91 low, which took us up to this July 46.07 high. From that point on, a correction commenced. And our view was at this point here, since early September, that the S&P 500 was missing another leg lower, the final leg of the correction, down into this 4,250 to 4,200 support zone. And you can see why we were looking for that level. It is reinforced by the 200-day moving average, by the uptrend support, and it's also a wave of quality target. And this rebound out of this support area into the early part of last week confirmed with this close above this August 43.35 low at least in our mind, that the correction was close to completion and that the uptrend had resumed. Now, what we're looking for this week is a break above this 43.85 high, which would provide further confirmation that the uptrend has resumed. And in that instance, I think we can see the S&P 500 retest this July 46.07 high with scope potentially up towards 4,700 into year end. Remember those positive factors which we spoke about. If we were to see a break below this 4,200 area, then we need to be open-minded that a deeper correction is likely, potentially back in towards this 3,800 area. But while we're above here, we will stay positive. Turning to the chart of the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ has also been in quite a good uptrend since the October lows. The correction from the July highs has also unfolded in three ways, which we see as a corrective pattern in Elliott Wave quite frequently. But to confirm the NASDAQ has completed that correction, it needs to get above this downtrend line coming from this 15,932 high. You'll also note that the wave equality target for this wave C pullback was a little bit deeper. So we're missing that final pullback. We would love to have seen the pullback get back towards 14,200, but it also can be seen as a sign of a stronger market when it doesn't tag that wave equality target like the S&P 500 did. So in summary, if we can see this NASDAQ again climb the wall of worries, which we've been speaking about, potentially supported by those positive factors mentioned a few moments ago, it could then extend up towards 16,000. Thank you for listening and have a good week ahead. 